بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته آه هذه المحاضرة الأولى من سلسلة محاضرات الانتباتكس دكتور عبد الكريم حميد آه إن شاء الله تستجيبونها بإذنه تعالى المحاضرة هي عن الانتباتكس Objective of this, of this lecture is to learn principles of antibiotics and antibacterial drugs uh, which include classification, effects, chemical uses, and toxicity. This figure shows us the bacterial cell with the site of effects of antibiotic. We have the cell wall and the cell membrane as well as a protein synthesis inhibitor in the uh, ribosomes, the effect ribosomes, and uh, some of antibiotic effect, the DNA or RNA. Others are affect the metabolism process. So, example of inhibitors of cell membrane function are isoniazide and amphotericin B. While the examples of inhibitors of nucleic acid function or synthesis, uh, they are fluoroquinolones and rivambine. The inhibitors of protein synthesis mm -hmm. are tetracyclines, aminoglycosides, macrolids, as well as uh, clindamycin and chloramphenicol. While the inhibitors of cell wall synthesis, <coughs> we have the major antibiotic uh, group, which is beta-lactams, and vancomycins. Vancomycin, sorry. The inhibitors of uh, metabolism, we have sulfonamides and trimethoprim. This scheme shows us the inhibitors of cell wall synthesis, which include of two major uh, groups, which are beta-lactam antibiotics and other antibiotics. The biggest one is beta-lactam antibiotic, which include uh, penicillin, cephalosporins, carbaminins, and monobactam. Monobactams. Penicillin include many members, for example, are amoxicillin, ampicillin, gloxacillin, and others. While cephalosporin are, uh, include four generations, the first uh, uh, according to the introduction in the uh, use in the medical area. Uh, first generation, example, uh, cefadroxyl, cefazolin, cefalexin, and cefalothin. While second generation includes cefachlor, cefamonidol, and cefarizol, and others. Third generation include cefidiner, cefixim, cefopirazone, cefotaxim, and cefotriazone. Fourth generation include one antibiotic which is cefipim. The other group of the beta-lactam antibiotic is carbapenem, car carbapenems. Carbapenems include of three members right now. The first one is epipenem. Imipenem isn't used, is not used uh, alone, but should be used with celestatin. And we will uh, explain why. And you have neuropenem and ertapenem. While the fourth, gen uh, fourth group of beta-lactam antibiotics, which is monobactam, it's include one antibiotic is uh, it is estronam. Now, other antibiotic, which is inhibitors of cell wall synthesis, other than beta-lactam group, uh, we have two antibiotic, pasitracin and vancomycin. There are another group in this uh, category, which is beta-lactamase inhibitors. We have glavionic acid, uh, salbactam, tozobactam. This group is not antibiotic as their own, but they are help other antibiotic by inhibiting the beta-lactamase enzymes, which is destroyed the beta-lactam group and finish the work of the antibiotic. So it is potentiate on uh, the uh, action of antibiotic. Okay. Beta-lactam antibiotic and other wall, uh, cell wall synthesis 
Uh, we have, you know, uh, this introduction about antibiotics. Uh, some definitions, very important one. Bactericidal, which is an antimicrobial drugs. Bactericidal, an antimicrobial drug that can eradicate an infection in the absence of host defense mechanisms. That means kills bacteria. While bacteriostatic is an antimicrobial drug that inhibits microbial growth but require host defense mechanism to eradicate the infection. Do it is does not it does not kill bacteria. This figure show us the effect of bactericidal and bacteriostatic drugs on the growth of the bacteria. Beta-lactam antibiotics, drugs with structure containing a beta-lactam ring include the penicillins and cephalosporins. This ring must be intact for antimicrobial action. If this ring is destroyed, there is no action for the no antibiosis action. Beta-lactamases, it is a bacterial enzymes. Examples are penicillinases, cephalosporinases that hydrolyze the lactam ring of certain penicillins and cephalosporin. Minimum inhibitory concentration, lowest concentration of antimicrobial drugs uh, capable of inhibiting growth of an organism in a defined growth medium. While penicillin binding proteins they are bacterial cytoplasmic membrane proteins. So they are present in bacteria that acts as the initial receptors for penicillins and other beta-lactam antibiotics. Peptidoglycan or murin, it is a chain of polysaccharides and polypeptides that are cross-linked to form the bacterial cell wall. It is very important for integrity of the bacterial cell wall. Selective toxicity, more toxic to invader than to the host, a property of useful antimicrobial drugs. It's very important. Transpeptidase, bacterial enzymes involved in the cross-linking of linear peptidoglycan chains, the final step in the cell wall synthesis. Penicillins and cephalosporins are the major antibiotics that inhibit inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis. Vancomycin and phosphomycin and pazitracin also inhibit cell wall synthesis, but for various reasons are not nearly as important as the beta-lactam drugs because of their uh, side effects and other uh, causes. The selective toxicity of these drugs is mainly due to specific action on the synthesis of a cellular structure that is unique to the microorganism and that is mean it is not present in the human cells or in the animal cells. Microbial antibiotic resistance. The emergence of microbial resistance poses a constant challenge to the use of antimicrobial drugs. It's a very important dilemma worldwide. Mechanisms underlying microbial resistance to cell wall synthesis. Inhibitors include, so cell wall synthesis inhibitors uh, may be resisted by microbes by these mechanisms. The first mechanism is the production of antibiotic inactivating so enzymes. So the bacteria will uh, synthesis, will produce enzymes that will inactivate the antibiotic. And there, the, uh, the second mechanism is the change in the structure of the target receptors. <coughs> Bacteria change the targets of the antibiotics which are present in the bacterial cell to defend their cells, themselves against antibiotic. Decrease in the permeability of the microbes cellular membrane to antibiotic. Some antibiotic need to enter the bacterial cell to act against them. So the bacteria will decrease the permeability for these microbes to enter in inside the cell. And 
this you know table show us the drug resistance types of bacteria to uh, many types of antibiotics so we have drug resistance due to altered targets and the drug resistance due to the, uh, due to decreased accumulation by decreased permeability or increased efflux and you have drug resistance due to enzymatic inactivation so examples of uh, the first one uh, resistance due to altered targets we have aminoglycosides chromopinicol clindamycin and others uh, examples of decreased permeability we have fluoroquinones beta lactam and tetracycline uh, examples of uh, increased efflux of antibiotic chloroquinone macrolides and tetracycline while the drug resistance due to enzymatic inactivation we have aminoglycosides, chloramphenicol, beta-lactam, macrolid, tetracycline. Here we it's very important to notice that some antibiotic can be resisted by bacteria by more than one mechanism. For example, aminoglycosides can be resisted by altered targets and enzymatic inactivation, while chloramphenicol can be resisted by altered targets and uh, enzymatic inactivation also. Chloroquinol can be resisted by three ways, three mechanisms, by altered targets and by uh, decreased permeability and by increased efflux. The tetracyclines can be resisted by four types of mechanisms mm -hmm. of resistance. By what? By first, altered targets and decrease permeability and increase efflux as well as the uh, enzymatic inactivation. Strategies designed to combat microbial resistance include what we do, what the researchers, what the doctors do to fight these uh, microbial resistance and make antibiotic act uh, to uh, inhibit uh, or to kill bacteria. The first strategy is the use of adjunctive agents that can protect against antibiotic inactivation. We mentioned, you know, salbactam uh, and other uh, substances that can, uh, you know, uh, protect antibiotic against the enzymes of the bacteria. The use of antibiotic combinations, for example, the protocols of a treatment of you know TB tuberculosis is uh, you know uh, include two to four antibiotics in the same times to forbidden the bacteria from develop developed resistance the introduction of a new and often expensive chemical der derivatives of established antibiotics and this is very expensive every antibiotic needs 10 years at least and a hundred million dollar at least to be found uh, for one antibiotic to be found and to be used in success. Efforts to avoid the in, in, uh, indiscriminate use of or misuse of antibiotics. It's very important. It's, uh, you know, concern with doctors and pharmacists and the patients also. Uh, antibiotics should be uh, stop used without need should be used by prescription under the supervision of the doctors not by uh, hand by from the pharmacies